Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's do a numerical example of the gradient to get a better understanding of what the gradient is. What we have before us is a room and we have an equation that defines the temperature of the room in terms of x, y, and z. So the temperature changes as we travel through the room in either the x, the y, or the z direction. At the very corner down here the temperature is equal to 20. And then if we move to a different location, the temperature will be different. For example, when we travel to the location 111, assuming that's in meters, the temperature will now be 26 degrees, because notice here's the function of T, the temperature, as a function of X, Y, and Z. So we have 20 at the origin, plus 1X, plus 2Y, plus 3Z. So first, we're going to show you how a differential works as a comparison to the gradient. And so we can define the differential, the change in temperature, as the partial derivative with respect to x of the temperature times the change in the x direction, plus the partial derivative of the temperature with respect to y times the change in the y direction, plus the partial derivative of the temperature with respect to z times the change in the z direction. And so as a simplified example, let's say we move from 0, 0, 0, the origin, to a point in the room 1, 1, 1. Notice that the change in the temperature, the differential, will be 1, which is the rate of change of the temperature when we move in the x direction, times the change in the x direction of 1 unit, plus the rate of change of the temperature with respect to the y direction, times the change in the y direction, plus the rate of change of the temperature in the z direction, times the change in the z direction. Add all that up, we have a change of temperature of 6 degrees, going from 20 to 26. But that's using differentials. So now we're going to take the gradient. And what do we mean by the gradient? Well, remember, the gradient is a del operator operating on a scalar function. And the result, the gradient, is a vector that will tell us the direction and the magnitude, the direction of travel, the direction in which we should travel to get the greatest change in the temperature and how big that change would be when we move in that direction. So here's the del operator, and we're operating on the scalar function. And we would do so, notice, we take the partial derivative with respect to x of the entire function, which gives us 1. We multiply that times the x unit vector. We take the partial derivative with respect to y of the entire function. We get 2 times the y unit vector. And we take the partial derivative with respect to z of the entire function, and we get 3 and the z unit vector. So here's the vector called the gradient. And the gradient tells us that if we travel, and from any point inside the room, because it's a linear function, so it really applies to anywhere inside the room. If we travel in this direction, relatively speaking, one unit in the x direction, two units in the y direction, three units in the z direction, if we point in that direction, and we travel in that direction, we'll have the largest rate of change of the temperature, which, when we take the magnitude of that vector, notice we get approximately 3.74. So for a unit change, in this direction, we get a temperature change of 3.74 degrees, and that's the largest change of the temperature when we, move, when we move from one point in the room to another point in the room along this vector, or parallel to that vector. And again, it can be anywhere in the room because we have a scalar, a linear function, a linear scalar function, and therefore it can be that, that way. Now, if, for example, we had a non-linear function like x squared and y squared and things like that, then we take the partial derivative, then you can see that the vector would change in magnitude and direction as we move throughout the room, which is possible that the gradient wouldn't be a constant, but a variable gradient as we move through the room, as we would have to move in different directions to get the larger temperature change. Not in this simplified example where we had a linear function, so the gradient will be a constant vector all the way throughout the room. Moving in that direction will give you the largest temperature change, and that is how it's done, and that's what we mean by the gradient.